So guys, uh, my area is actually in the midst of yet another PG&E public safety power shutoff. So, uh, <laughs> in light of that, I thought it is real appropriate that we start talking more about power, emergency power, and uh, in particular, augmenting your generator or emergency power with a uh, small solar generator. This time on K6UDA Radio. This is a standard Honda 2000 watt generator. Probably the standard for a portable small generator work and when it's under load, like I've got it set to right now, it doesn't provide much quiet or operational security in an emergency. And that, my friends, is it. That is the sum total of how to put together this uh, solar generator. It is making power right now. Well, it's not making a lot of power because it's in the shade now. All right, guys, 4.30 a.m. We're on night vision. Pitch dark, there is nothing on except all these generators. Really, not very good OPSEC. So, something to uh, keep in mind is that sound discipline. Also, light discipline. You're gonna see one lone house lit up two blocks away. So about four years ago, I picked up this uh, Wagan uh, Solar E-Cube. It's a 1500 watt uh, inverter with uh, built-in batteries and uh, built-in uh, solar panels. Gives me 150 watts of, uh, of solar generating capacity on board. Everything is self-contained. It's a fairly heavy unit. Uh, I bought this one at Costco for about 650 bucks. I think they're going for about 850 now. Now some of the things that I really do like about this one is it gives me the ability to uh, just wheel it in and out wherever I want to go. It's relatively quiet and um, it also gives me the ability to add uh, things like extra battery capacity to it and extra um, solar panels. The onboard 150 uh, watt solar collection or the solar panels on board, they're not a whole lot. And so I found this old uh, solar panel on wheels and I built a pigtail and uh, hooked this thing up right there into the inputs on the front of the uh, unit. So now during the day I use the uh, regular generators and uh, and I use this you know basically collecting uh, power, uh, charging it up on solar, uh, using that during the day and then at night I can move this thing around, I could bring it in the house, I could do whatever I want and uh, use the power stored in the battery and it's free and it's silent. The front panel on this unit has a built-in voltmeter, the inverter switch, uh, two USB outlets, two 115 volt AC outlets with multiple uh, tips on there, two 12 volt outlets and one of them also serves uh, as a charging port for wall charging and the uh, solar terminal uh, ports on the front. The cube rolls around on wheels and has a collapsible handle so it's real easy to move around. It has an onboard compartment to store things but that's a little small to charge or to carry the onboard uh, charger and on the back it also has uh, two lugs to uh, add extra batteries to. Now 
adding extra batteries is going to add a whole bunch of time to charge everything, but it'll give you a whole lot more uh, battery capacity in the end. Using a solar generator inside the house is safe, secure, uh, and you can run critical infrastructure like I'm running the refrigerator right now at night. Uh, no noise. I've got all the doors and windows locked. I have no cords uh, poking through doors or windows. It's a win-win overnight. Kind of excited because after five days, the power just now came back on. So I've got the house running like normal again. All right, so what do I like about it? Uh, number one, super, super easy to set this thing up. I mean, uh, literally it is a self-contained unit and I love that about this. I don't have to worry about connecting up uh, an external um, solar panel or a series of solar panels to get the thing to charge up during the day. Number two, uh, after the initial cost of this, it is free power uh, if you've got sunshine. Uh, number three, it is convenient and safe to use indoors. So if I want to power up, say, the refrigerator at night or uh, charge up, you know, cell phones or whatever, it is there and, and ready to go. What I'm not wild about is, um, is it a, is it a one-stop shop? No, absolutely not. This is augmentation to an existing generator system or an existing some kind of an infrastructure that you've got to build. Uh, it's not going to keep up, is especially given the limited battery power that it has. If I would have uh, added uh, four or five other batteries on top of it and ran it like that, it might have done a lot better, but you're giving up that portability. Guys, if you're interested in getting something like this, either one of these or uh, something like a Kodiak or, uh, or any number of other solar generators that are out there on the market right now, um, I've got a few links in the description below. And again, uh, if you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. And if you haven't already hit the subscribe button, please hit that subscribe button and uh, share it wherever you can. I'll do some more videos on prepping for power outages, disasters, and other stuff like that that kind of go along with the whole ham radio thing. Uh, oh yeah, uh, just uh, so you know, I was able to power up my entire ham station with the solar generator. Uh, when everything else was off and it works really really nice anyway that's all I got I'm Bob K6UDA and I'm out of here 7-3